Welcome to the Hardware Prodigy's very first YouTube guide. In this guide, I'll be showing you how to install JDownloader onto a Windows 7 machine. Firstly, open up your default internet browser. In Google, or whichever search engine you prefer to use, type in JDownloader and perform a search. If you're using Google, you'll have to select the third link as the above two are in a foreign language. I don't know why this is. But in any case, once you've selected it, the page should load. We're going to want to choose this download option here on the left. However, if you're using Linux or Mac, select a download up here to be given a further choice on what operating system you want to use. For now, just click on the first download link I showed you. Once the download has loaded, click Save File. For the purpose of this tutorial, I fast forwarded the download, but it's 2.7 megabytes and therefore shouldn't take too long to download on your system. I also fast forwarded the download manager, which should take about 15 minutes, but as you'll see in a minute, it will just jump through it, but it's pretty straightforward. So um, once it's download and downloaded and it's safe from viruses, open up the place where you saved the file and click right. Click next here and select what toolbars or if you want JDownload to become your default search engine then click continue as you can see the download has started but I'll now skip it and go straight to the setup click next on this screen and accept the terms and license agreement for JDownloader once this is done choose your desired directory for your, for your JDownloader to install in and click next here I recommend selecting no thanks to Hikin, as it is simply a sponsor in which JDownloader have been paid to show on their page. Once you have done this, the installation will begin. Like before, I have increased the speed of the installation for the purpose of this tutorial. However, it should take a lot longer on your system, but this is dependent on your CPU or computer speed. When the installation is fully complete, click Next and select Run JDownloader before pressing Finish. JDownloader will now load up. Here, you'll select what language you want any updates to be done in and your download directory for them. Here, I'll click English. Flash Go will integrate JDownloader to Mozilla Firefox. You have no choice but to agree with this, so click OK. After this, JDownloader will load up. Once it's open, you'll be taken to another screen. This is the main JDownloader screen. And occasionally you'll have Windows come up saying to update JDownloader. You'll also have more sort of Firefox come up, but you can just close that. As you can see, it's copied a link directly from Mozilla Firefox, which was in my clip clipboard, right into JDownloader. I've also got some updates to install, so I'll just click OK. And if you look at the bottom bar, it will show you where it's updating and the progress of the update. Once it's updated, JDownloader will restart. But while it's updating, I will explain to you how it works. As you can see, the link grabber has copied the link from my clipboard, which is from RapidShare, directly into Who JDownloader. From here, I can simply click Continue with All to begin the download. In the next tutorial, I will explain more in depth how JDownloader works and ways you can download files from RapidShare, Mega Upload, and similar sites. Thank you for watching this tutorial.